Hi everyone, I'm David Wojcik and this is MBOT TV. Welcome to MBOT TV, a weekly recap of what happened in business at the Mississauga Board of Trade and around the city of Mississauga. A light week in the general news area, but lots happening at the province and the rules governing municipal elections. Brad Butt is coming up with full details. Are you looking for an amazing offer from a prestigious golf course? Listen to what Greta Valley Golf and Country Club has in store for you. Change the way you do business with a Credit Valley corporate-owned membership. With full transferable privileges and limited space available, this is the way to value clients. Credit Valley Golf and Country Club, making the world of business better. And now for our political update with Director of Government Relations, Brad Butt. Brad? Well, thanks, David. The Canadian Chamber of Commerce has launched the Keep Trade Free campaign and established the Coalition to Keep Trade Free. The objectives are to advocate for freer trade within North America and around the world and build the case for a modernized NAFTA that will grow our economies and make us globally competitive. For more information on how you can participate in this campaign, please go to keeptradefree.com. Three major credit card companies have agreed to charge Canadian small businesses lower processing fees when accepting the cards. The Canadian government announced on August the 9th. Visa, MasterCard and American Express all made commitments to make credit card acceptance fairer according to the Federal Ministry of Finance. Visa and MasterCard will reduce domestic consumer interchange fees to an annual average effective rate of 1.4% for a period of five years, narrow the range of interchange rates charged to businesses, and require annual verification by an independent third party, the government said. American Express's commitment was less clear, but the government said that it will support the government's objectives of greater fairness and transparency in the Canadian credit card market. This commitment recognizes the fact that American Express operates a unique business model with fees other than interchange fees, the Ministry of Finance noted. The estimated savings for small and medium-sized businesses in Canada is about $250 million per year, based on credit card sales of roughly $250 billion per year. For a medium-sized business with credit sales of $5 million per year, a 10 basis point reduction in interchange fees equivalent to the new agreement could allow for a savings of up to $25,000 over five years, the ministry stated. Well, the Canadian Chamber of Commerce has issued a release on the diplomatic problems between Canada and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It states, and I quote, the Canadian Chamber regrets the escalating tensions in diplomatic and economic relations between Canada and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We call upon the governments of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Canada to avoid further escalation and hope that both countries will take steps to restore their relationship and to discuss each country's concerns in a constructive fashion. Breaking relationships that have required decades to build will do nothing to benefit either country. Instead, doing so will damage both businesses and individuals including students and people in need of medical care. The citizens of both countries stand to gain much more from a constructive engagement, end quote. Meanwhile, things remain quiet on the NAFTA negotiations front, although President Donald Trump has been tweeting that it has been a delight dealing with the incoming president of Mexico and not so much with Canadians. Well, this looks like the last week for the Ontario Legislature, so that they may adjourn for a short summer break. The cap-and-trade, buck-a-beer, and better local government bills are expected to pass. This will signal the formal end of Ontario's cap-and-trade carbon tax regime and the end of the election of chair for the region of Peel. The City of Toronto Council will also be reduced from 25, or 225 rather, from 45 councillors. Congratulations to Mississauga Streetsville MPP Nina Tangri, who has been elected chair of the Standing Committee on Social Policy at Queen's Park. 
The city of Mississauga recently received global recognition for its work in the aerospace industry. FDI Magazine, a publication for the business of globalization, ranked Mississauga second in two categories in their Aerospace Cities of the Future report. Mississauga is proud to be home of the largest aerospace cluster in Canada, and it's an absolute honor to be recognized as an innovative and strategic global leader in this sector, said Mayor Bonnie Crombie. We share this honor with our city's growing aerospace business community and its high-skilled workforce, who are proud to call Mississauga home. This recognition also reaffirms Mississauga's strong position on the innovation corridor. As a city, we will continue to foster innovation that encourages businesses to adopt cutting-edge technology, take risks, and launch new ventures in Mississauga's aerospace industry and beyond, the mayor concluded. The city of Mississauga has been awarded $125,000 in funding through the federal government's Municipalities for Climate Innovation Program. The funding will be used to develop the city's Climate Change Action Plan. MBOT is involved in this initiative. We are taking action to help fight climate change and reduce pollution. That's why we're developing a climate change action plan to help prepare Mississauga for the impacts of a changing global climate, said Mayor Bonnie Crombie. The plan will have two key goals, reduce greenhouse gas emissions and increase our capacity to deal with and respond to future climate events, as well as position the city and our businesses to compete in the low carbon economy, to create new jobs and open new markets, the mayor said. Back to you, David. Thanks, Brad. And here is what's coming up at your Mississauga Board of Trade. On August 23rd, MNP is the sponsor for our summer patio party at Milestones Harbor. As the summer heats up, this is event is the perfect prep for the busy September season ahead. And Save the date for the annual Extravaganza Awards of Excellence on November 15th, sponsored by MMP and Closing the Gap Healthcare Group. Details about these stories and events are available at www.mbot.com. Until next week, this is David Wojcik wishing you continued success in your business.